Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you about the Word user interface. Let's get started. So you'll see on the Word user interface that up here at the top, all of the tabs which start at home and go all the way to insert, design, layout, and so on, are all set up perfectly for Microsoft Word. So if you've used other Office applications before, you may recognize things like the file tab or the home tab, but you'll also find some that are specifically for Word, like the references tab. And so these tabs up here at the top contain all of the buttons inside. Now you may notice that if I say go to the home tab and click on the edit or click on the replace button, you might start looking through all of these different buttons to find the replace button, which is all the way over here on the right. So I would never just say click on the home tab, go to the replace button. Instead, uh, Microsoft Word breaks it into groups. And so you'll see at the bottom of each button list is the group. And so you'll see right here, clipboard, font, paragraph, styles. These aren't buttons themselves, they're just ways to categorize the buttons within the group. And so I would tell you, go to the Home tab, Editing Group, and click Replace. That way your eyes only have to go Home, and then run through the groups, and then you'll get to Editing, and then you'll see Replace right there. It's a much faster method to uh, easily navigate around Microsoft Word, and this is called the ribbon up here. And so the ribbon is a combination of the tabs, groups and buttons inside. Within all of these different groups and commands, you're going to find that if you don't know what a button is, you could actually hover over it to get a short explanation. And so let's say I didn't know what this button was. That's actually bullets, and it says bullets, create a bulleted list. And you could also click the arrow to change the look of the bullet. And you see the arrow right there, and I see all of my different bullet types. That's really useful if you don't know what a button is. Okay. Another thing is, if you can't find a button within a group, let's say I'm in the paragraph group here, I could click this dialog box launcher in the bottom right and open up all of my paragraph uh, options. And so this is actually very good if I uh, need extra help finding something. And so that's called a dialog box launcher. So anytime I refer to a dialog box launcher, uh, that's what it is in the bottom right of the group. You'll notice some groups have them, like the paragraph group, but over here the editing group does not. Also, one thing that I do want to recommend if you're watching my Word playlist is to always work in full screen. Don't try to do half screen or something like that because it actually collapses the ribbon up here at the top and it makes it much more difficult to find the different buttons within it. To maximize the screen, you could either click and drag up to the top or you can hold the Windows key on your keyboard and press the up arrow. Either of those work or you could hit the maximize button. Any of those options are fine. So now that my uh, screen is back to full screen, you'll notice that all of the options are redisplayed. And so one other thing that I want to do is show you guys the status bar options. I already went over the status bar in a previous video, but I do want to show you the options that exist down here. If I go to the status bar, which is this area right at the bottom of the screen, and it's just this little tiny bar right above your taskbar, but not within the body of the document, if you actually right click on this, you'll see all of the different options that you have for organizing this tax, uh, task or status bar. and you can see that the checked options are the ones that are already showing. So I could see page number one of one. That's already displaying right down here on the bottom left. But I could actually go through and choose different options that I want to display or not display. So I currently have word count displaying. If I uncheck that, you'll see that word count goes away from down here. But if I recheck it, it's going to show there it is. Word count's actually there now. Now the cool thing about this is I could actually add in certain information. So let's say I wanted line number here. I could actually click on line number and you'll see right here it says line one. So take a look through some of these options and customize your Microsoft Word to set it up uh, with the information that you think you would need. Um, you know, if maybe your keyboard doesn't have a caps lock light on it, you might want to turn that on and turn on caps lock so that you can see if caps lock is displayed or not. The point is, you want to customize words so that it's the most useful for you as you begin to learn Microsoft Word. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit about uh, the Word user interface and what's going on on the Word screen before you get started with this playlist. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.